so i want uh, i never realized i wanted to be a writer it was a very spontaneous sort of decision which i took of uh, sort of starting my own page so i was truly really inspired by one of my friend who had her own instagram handle where she used to post few poetries and write ups and uh, when i go went through them i saw a side of her which was very vulnerable sensitive or oh, emotional but uh, very strong very you know a uh, sort of an uproaring kind of a voice which each and every word what she wrote had so that truly really motivated me and i was like if i am writing a diary why not give it a try of writing a poem and posting it online and let's see what happens so sort of i weaved words which i resonated with and i wrote my first poem and uh, i was showered with many positive messages from anonymous people from close friends from my relatives and from people who were co close acquaintances and they were truly baffled because they had never seen a side of me which was a sensitive one and which was a bit emotional which had so much depth so when i started writing that's when people got to know that oh like you know there are these feelings and emotions which people never speak about and they were the ones they were the reasons why why i started writing because somewhere i sort of got to know that uh i can be a voice for those whose voices are dim or who are not able to speak up for their own selves and yeah that's how uh, that's how i sort of thought that let's give it a shot and let's be a writer i don't know whether i'm a good writer but that's up to you to decide and yeah that's it <laughs> what inspired me to write this book it's actually a very tough question to answer because i don't have an inspiration as of now of why i had to write this book because the book which i have written is sort of a sort of a diary which i had and uh, i had maintained so it just what has happened from the past and what has happened up till now and that's what i've compiled and that's what i've written about written about and that's what the book is all about so somewhere i feel that the inspiration was to you know to be free to have a voice in this society to uplift the people those who don't have a voice like i said earlier to just be an inspiration for those who are not able to find the right sort of words those who are not able to express themselves now i truly hope that this book is an inspiration for many others and yeah that's how i'll conclude the answer what i learned from writing this book was the way i like truly speaking i never knew that i could write a book like hello it was a sort of revelation to me when i sort of published the final draft and when when i had the final draft in my hand and that's when i realized that you know uh, while writing all those poems all those write ups i truly thought that you know if you take it take it upon yourself of fighting for your rights fighting for your own freedom and just being who you are then there's no power or there's no higher power that is going to stop you from doing from achieving what you truly believe in and that's what true is a truly a uh, very big thing for me and that's what you know that is why this book is there because i learned of letting go i learned of embracing who i am and i learned of inspiring people through my write ups so there are there is a culmination of lot of things that i've learned through this book and uh, i truly can express them through words because whatever i say is not enough i'll sort of write a book about it itself because you know that is a complete separate thing that what i learned about this it's not one thing there are several 
thousand things that I've learned. Biggest influencers in my life are, as of now, there are only three people. So the first one is my grandmother. Uh, the second one is Sudha Murthy ji, and the third one is Taylor Swift. So my grandmother is my first influencer because uh, I sort of resonate with her feelings and her emotions, which she hides from everyone. Yet when whenever I go through her write-ups, her poems, her diary, I can sense that there is so much depth within each and every word that. It's truly baffling for me that how can a human being carry such a multiverse of you know feelings and emotions within herself, and that's what truly boggles me sometimes. And that's why she is my first biggest influencer. And uh, it's also because the way she carries herself, and in whatever she does, she has that touch of you know purity in her. And I am sure that everyone who is listening this, they'll sort of resonate with what I'm saying. Yeah, like they are unique in their own way. The second one is uh, Sudha Murthy ji. Now this lady, she I consider her my, her as my uh, second grandmother, which I only got to know through her books, and I've read all of them. I've read. All those chapters, and what I find in her write-ups and in whatever she wants to say is the way she conveys, uh, you know, very sort of intense emotions and feelings through very simplistic language, through simple words, and through simple chapters, and that's the beauty of her. You know, uh, she believes in simplicity is the policy. Simplicity is the best policy. And that's what she's been doing through her philanthropy work, through whatever she says, whatever she believes in, and that's what truly sort of you know influences me. Me, the third one is uh, Taylor Swift. Now, me and Taylor Swift sort of you know I connected with her when I sort of started having heartbreaks and all that stuff, and at that time I was a teenager, so. Her words, her the depth in her words, the raw and those you know just raw emotions and feelings which she poured through everything that she did, they truly resonated with me. She has such a huge fandom because whatever she is been doing up till now, it's like you know it's truly motivating people to accept, to embrace, and to just fly with their own colors that they are. Uh, you know that they are born with. So yeah, these three ladies are my biggest influences, and I'll conclude at that. So I won't consider this as my work. I'd rather say that this is my heart and my soul that you are going to go through. And hence, uh, that being said, I have covered few issues and some topics that. We don't talk about. The first thing is that not talking itself. So when I was young kid, I used to have this mentality where you know I used to not speak about what I was going through, what I was suffering, the pain, the anxiety, the good, the bad, the black, the white, and whatever it was. I used to never speak about my emotions and my feelings. Whether be it my parents, my close friends, my relatives, so like that side of me was unknown to everyone. It was like a black hole. Like no one knew what whether anything existed there. It was only when I started talking about that people got to know. Like yeah, like there is this part of me as well. Hence, I've covered it. I've covered this big part. That is of being mum, of being silent. I have truly, I poured everything out there in this book, and I truly uh, wish that people try to speak, you know, speak up for themselves, for their future, for their younger self, for their older self that they'll become. And I truly want people to be inspired from this book. And even if this 
inspires one individual out there i'll be at most grateful because all i want from this book is for people to speak about you know not to get caught up because of some social or economic some dilemma or some issues or the surroundings of society because ultimately there with good there is bad with black there is white so if you are opening up to yourself it's obvious that you'll face criticism and all but it's not like everything will be you know dark you might even come across few souls that might resonate with you that might resonate with what you have been through hence i have poured out what i went through over here just so that it helps someone out there who is still caught up in in himself or herself and yeah like i've done that the second thing that i've talked about is a uh, sexual orientation and that is something like we probably you know brush under the carpet or we just laugh it out whatever your sexual sexuality may be just accept who you are and just be yourself because ultimately if you are not yourself then that will not motivate anyone to be there be them themselves so it will be like it will be a world where fakeness is thriving the third thing that i've talked about is of a uh, same sex gender romance or the feelings and all that we develop because it's a very new territory of you know for any uh, person to explore or to know about because when a gay person or a lesbian person talks about himself or herself it's usually like oh my god it's so new and i didn't know about this i don't want it to be new i want to normalize it i want people to know that what we face ourselves the same things we undergo the same emotions as anyone else on this planet and hence i have sort of in my own way i have quoted my love life in this book and i've written down everything so it's up to you to decide whether it's black or whether it's white or whether it's multicolored i don't know and uh, the fourth thing that i've talked about is uh, mental and physical abuse as well as bullying so i have emphasized this a lot in my book because i i have suffered through it i won't say that i'm a victim because if i was a victim i wouldn't have had the courage to write a book about it and to express myself the way i am as of now so i have talked about it just so that it uh, sort of you know those who have gone through the same thing they talk about them selves what they have gone through and they somehow resonate with my story because i know like i know this for a fact that it's not easy you might you might say that i have that privilege and i have that sort of you know freedom and all to express which you might not have and i completely agree like you know i also didn't have that sort of freedom at one point of time but slowly and steadily i sort of believed in me as i wanted to be a boon for this humanity and whatever whoever were there with me i wanted to support them i wanted to help them in whatever ways i could and hence i took up this decision of being myself being the true version of myself and i am still you know developing myself i have not reached that stage but still as of now all i wish is that you to start from some point i know that it's very hard it's and you know it's not that easy like i am saying as of now it's such a confidence and all but trust me these words which i was i'm saying to you right now a few years ago they were trending and they were dying within my own soul so as of now i am able to speak to you and that is the most beautiful thing that i am actually you know witnessing and i truly truly wish that one day 
you also are free to talk about what you have faced with some other person out there and uh, all i want is that book to help people is to help you those who are listening and my book trust me it's not only limited to uh, what you say lgbtqi community because yeah that is one of the part of it that is a crucial crux about it but at the same time it's about each and every soul out there because ultimately we all are human beings our sexuality our race our gender color and whatever it is it will all fade away and all that is all that will be left is just dust hence i truly feel that without any judgment without any prior you know opinions and all that stuff you would read this book so that you know you sort of help yourself with it because i have definitely helped myself and uh, yeah like i truly feel that uh, whatever everything that happens happens for some positive outcome and uh, yeah like these are some topics that i've talked about but uh, i don't know you might come up with something new as well that you might find you know that this is something which wasn't spoken about and this we are facing in the society and all so yeah like it's up to you to decide and that's it i've talked a lot uh, so i'll end at this a good story something which is totally relatable which is something that speaks the truth it's something that reflects upon who you are and just lets you connect with that dim voice within your own self and it just makes you realize that it's you who are talking to yourself through that story uh, a good story something which is inspiring which is motivating which helps people accept embrace who they are and their true selves it's something which uh, be makes people feel good about whatever they have gone through up till now it's something which helps people re- uh, realize or understand that uh, they are not alone in whatever instance they are and uh, it's just something that you know just makes people feel comfortable in their own skin it's something which they can hold on to when they don't have anyone around it's something that they can you know wake up in the night in the midnight and they can just read a uh, just a chapter or just a para from that story and they feel good they feel inspired they feel motivated to do better to be a better person a good story something which talks about what is happening in the society it's something which talks about those issues those problems that are not usually talked about a good story is something which talks about those issues and problems that are usually not spoken about in public it's something which addresses these issues in a very black and white manner and uh, it's something which diminishes those preconceived notions and whatever judgments that are passed and it just makes everyone realize that uh, what the true facts and true story is so there are lots of things that a good story is you know should have and these are just few of the many things that i feel that you know make a story good but what i find good about a story might not be something which uh, someone would find good he or she may feel that this is something which is sort of you know not relatable to hence they might dissociate from the story but that doesn't make that story not good it's very subjective hence i conclude my conclude my answer by saying that uh, every author or every writer or you as a person don't feel that 
your story is not good just because it's unappreciated it's being unheard or it's not that good as your peers or someone who you are you know acquainted with because uh it's you who make your story good so whatever you do with it whatever you have been through or whatever you are weaving as of now that is for your own betterment and you're helping yourself hence at the end of the day uh it's all about your happiness and it's all about whether you feel comfortable enough in your own skin and your own true colors so yeah like that's what i feel that a good story is all about the advice that i would give my younger self is uh he shouldn't have been silent he should have expressed himself when he was suffering when he was in pain and uh, he should have let go of all those hard feelings emotions which were pulling him down he should have had uh, talked about the abuse the you know all those negative things that he faced when he was uh in that uh you know time zone and uh, he should have seeken help from his parents from close ones from his friends and uh, he should have truly believed in what he wanted to do he should have had kept people by himself rather than excluding excluding them from his life just because they were good or they were you know bad because that's very subjective and he should have had uh, been himself at times and he shouldn't have had worn so many masks because the because that was had that was what uh, was you know something which pulled him down which sort of uh, you know slowed his growth towards succeeding towards achieving freedom but uh, at the end of the day i rather look as of now in the present that i am and uh, i truly think that whatever has happened has happened for a reason and this book is what it is that i have achieved from whatever that has happened in the past as well as in the present and what's going to happen in the future so yeah like this is some this is a very serious kind of a you know question as of now these are the things that he should have done for himself but i'm happy